Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I have a very cool notebook stationery review for you. And they are products that come from a company called Endless. Endless Stationery, based in India. They contacted me a while ago, said they wanted to send me some products for me to check out and review on the channel. And they sent me some really cool stuff. I did a box opening a few weeks ago. You can check that out if you haven't seen it yet. And now it is time for the full review. I wanna show you the products that they sent me, the way that their notebook system differs from some other notebook systems like the Midori or the recently reviewed Rotorfaden Taschenbeck Leiter that I did on the channel, show you the way that I've configured my Endless Explorer journal, and then at the end give you my overall opinion of these endless stationary products. So what are all these products that we're gonna be looking at? First of all, we have the Endless Explorer notebook slash journal. Comes with this pen loop here that I'm gonna show you. Inside this, I have another product that does not come with the journal, but it is the Cotton Wallet. I'm gonna take all of that out right now. So there's the journal with the pen loop, does not come with the Lamy Safari that I have there. We have the cotton wallet here. This was something extra that they sent me. We have the Creative Block Tear-Off Notepad. And then they also sent me something else that I have not opened yet. I have the box here. This is their Observer Notebook. And I'm gonna crack this open right now, actually and give you a peek of what it is. Let me put everything to the side. Limited space here, gang. So there we go. Looks like Customs decided to uh, peek inside this box, make sure there wasn't anything evil inside of it. So I'm going to see which way does this actually open here. Okay, we got it open. Inside we have <laughs> the Endless Observer for all minute details of life. So there you go. Let's take a look at this as well. I really enjoy the way that Endless packages their products. I think it is quite attractive. Let's see if we can do this without actually slicing into the notebook. Crack this baby open. We've got a cardboard sleeve with a nice embossed design on there. And inside, I think it should slide out. There we go, is this. The Observer Notebook. This is supposed to be a lay flat notebook. You can see that it does indeed lay flat. The pages are numbered, which is quite nice. There is a bookmark in here. We have, I believe an index at the front. There's a title page. And yes, there is a table of contents slash index. Very cool. And this is that regalia paper. All the paper that Endless uses, or almost, they do Tomoe River paper as well, but their own in-house paper is called this regalia paper. I believe it's 80 GSM, supposedly quite good for fountain pens. It has more of a matte finish. This is in a dotted layout, as you can see. But I'll show you how, you know, it's, it's quite good for fountain pens. Not a lot of bleed through. Um, doesn't seem to feather. And so this is a nice weighty paper in a notebook that lays flat. This is an A5 size, I believe. Yes, A5, so it's 8.2 inches by 5.8 inches. Um, it comes in two different colors, night sky or beach sand. This is the night sky, obviously. See the little embossed logo on the bottom there. The price on this is $18. So it definitely lays flat. The binding is such that you can just put the notebook down let me show you the back of the binding there. Quite nice. Has the regalia paper, 80 GSM acid free, table of contents, page marker, 187 pages. And like I said, 8.2 inches by 5.8 inches. So quite nice. I'm not going to write in this or do too much else with this. They just sent this along to me as well and I wanted to show it to you. But for a nice hardbound journal, that lays flat with decent paper, and if this paper is the exact same regalia paper as the paper I've been using in my Explorer journal, and it is, then it is good paper for fountain pens. So, 
quite nice. The Observer by Endless Stationery. But the main products that I've been using for the past few weeks have been the Endless Explorer Notebook, right there, with the pen loop, the Creative Block tear-off pad, and the Cotton Wallet. So let's take these piece by piece. The Explorer Notebook is a journal system very similar to a Midori. We've seen a lot of these recently, ever since the Midori became so popular. But it's basically a leather sleeve in which you can place inserts. Now, when I first did the box opening of this, I thought, and I don't know why, but I thought that these storyboard inserts that Endless includes, they include one storyboard insert. I don't want you to see what I've been writing in this. Uh, with a dot layout. I have the stats here. It is a... Uh, it's the Regalia paper. This is the large size. And these go for 850, these inserts. I thought they were A5, but they are not. They are actually uh, 7.5 inches by 5.1 inches, and A5 size is 8.2 by 5.8. And so I was really excited when I first opened this because I thought it was something that I'd be able to use all sorts of different inserts in, just standard A5 inserts. And so when I actually realized that that wasn't the case, I'll show you here. This is a Midori MD insert. This is actual A5 size, and you can see the difference there is pretty pronounced. Let me put this underneath. So A5 is quite a bit bigger than this endless storyboard size, and it does not really fit in the notebook, as you can see. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. Um, but in spite of that, I think you'll see that this is still a really nice system. What I like about this, it is a little bit larger than the standard Midori, at least in width. And to me, that's just a more usable size when I'm writing, when I'm doing whatever I am, if I'm sketching especially. The other thing I love about this, so it has the Midori style leather flap, obviously a little thicker, slightly shorter, but look at the way this is configured. You can see these two elastics on the back here, and then you have the central elastic that you use to actually close the book. The thing that I love about this system, I like the size, wish it was A5, but I can get past that. But the way these are laid out, you actually have, let me yank this out of here. You actually have three elastics that you can use separately. So the Midori, there is one and you put a notebook in there, and then you use rubber bands to affix other notebooks to the notebook that you have already placed inside on the elastic. I modified my Midori by putting two extra elastics in so I could have three inserts, and this comes already, well, it's not pre-modded because this is the way it came from the factory, but it comes with three individual elastics, which I love. I think that is absolutely great that they do that. Let me shove this back in. So you have your central elastic, and then you have your two elastics on either side. And it just works really well. Mine came in the green leather cover. They also have leather covers in brown or blue. They offer a cactus leather kind of vegan alternative in various colors for $60, but I wanted the leather, I wanted the green, I really like this color. They also come with this open type pen loop here. You can see which is Plenty large enough for a Lamy Safari. I'm actually putting it in upside down. There you go, Lamy Safari. You can also easily fit my beautiful, probably my favorite fountain pen of all time, Lamy 2000 in there. You cannot fit a Caveco Lilliput in there. It doesn't quite work. But anyway, it comes with the pen loop. The pen loop is sold separately for $15. But each one of these Explorer journals comes with the cover, the pen loop, and then one of these storyboard notebooks in dot grid standard size. They sell separately for $9. So when you put it all together, you have this nice compact notebook system. Obviously, I only have one insert in here right now, but then you have your pen loop 
and it all travels really nicely. I really like the form factor, in spite of the fact that it's not A5, it's really cool, it works really well. Now the next thing they sent me is this, the cotton wallet that fits inside the Explorer notebook. There it is. Now this I really like. I'm always wanting to carry some extra things when I have a notebook, whether it be ink cartridges or erasers or what have you, and this makes that possible. So you have this flap here, you open it up, you've got a nice big zipper pocket here, and it's just this really nice kind of cotton canvas. You have a loop here where you can put cables. You have card slots here. So I have been configuring this without shoving too much in it. I put pencil leads, because I usually am carrying these two mechanical pencils with me. This is a Rotring 0.5 mechanical pencil, and then this is a Rotring two millimeter, um, what would you call that, just a point? <laughs> what is this called? I don't know. Two millimeter, uh, a clasp pencil, I think. So I usually carry these with me in the book, and so I can put the extra ink, or not extra ink, the extra leads for my 0.5 millimeter pencil in here, along with some points for the mechanical, or for the clasp pencil. I have my pencil pointer, a little ruler, and the pens. And these all go in here, oh, along with some ink cartridges, for my Lamy Safari. That all goes in there like so. Uh, occasionally I have an eraser or something like that. You can shove them into all these different pockets, all these different slots, whatever you want. Could you actually probably even put that there in the little loop. And when you close it up, it's still fairly compact. You can kind of configure it however you want. And that's how I've been carrying this journal around. Only one insert so far. And then I just slide in my cotton wallet. I have it in the front because that way when it's closed you're not writing on the back of this and getting it all lumpy. I guess technically if you're writing on the other side of the page, I want to open this so you don't see what I've been writing. It's personal stuff, you don't need to see it. I guess you would might you might get a little lumpiness from that, but you can also not have as much stuff crammed into here as I do. But when you put it all together, Still stays pretty compact. It's a soft cover, so it's not quite the same as my Taschenbeck lighter, which is a little more rigid and definitely a lot more bulky. But it all still fits together fine. And I really like it. I really like the system. I like the feel of the leather. I think it's really nice quality. I love the fact that they include this pen loop because that's always a big deal for me, is trying to find a good way of transporting a pen with my notebook. And some of the solutions I've come up with have not always been all that great. So there you go. I should probably distribute the stuff inside the cotton wallet a little bit better because it's kind of weird and malformed at the moment, but you get the idea. The last product that we had from Endless Stationery is this. This is the Creative Block Tear-Off Notepad. It comes in a variety of sizes. The one I have here is actually where is my information? This is the standard size. You get 70 sheets of the regalia paper. This is just blank. Um, I don't think it comes in dotted or grid at all. It's also available in a pocket and large size. The standard size is the same size as the storyboard notebooks that come with the Explorer. Uh, so that's 7.4 inches by 5.1 inches. So I guess actually the storyboard is 7.5, so this is 0.1 inch smaller than the storyboard notebook. But again, it's that Regalia paper, 80 GSM, and it's just a cool thing to have on your desk. You can even say, see it says, belongs to the desk of blank. And it's really good fountain pen friendly paper. You can rip it off. And it's nice too that the logo is actually on the back of the pad. So when you're writing, you don't have that logo in the way. And then if you rip it off though, it'll be on the back side. So quite nice. Now let me show you this Regalia paper. This is the same paper that's in the uh, storyboard notebook that's in my Explorer journal. The only pens that I have inked up at the moment are my Lamy Safari. This has a 1.1 millimeter stub on it. Uh, I think there's ink in this at the moment.
this paper doesn't bleed. Is that actually true? Let's see. It does not bleed to the back side. I'm not seeing, <clears throat> eh, I see like a slight amount of show through, but just a tiny bit. No feathering whatsoever. Does really well. We also have my Lamy 2000. This has an extra fine on it, so you know it's not going to make most papers bleed anyway, but just so you can see how it takes the ink. Not bad. And then I have my little Caveco Lilliput. This had a larger stub. I can't remember exactly the size, but you can see that there. Maybe you can see that in the camera. I can't see it. Uh, let me see how this does. This one's kind of a hard starter. Mm. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Nice, robust twirls there. Let's take a look at that. I really like how this takes the ink, though, because, because there are some fountain pen papers like Clairefontaine, which I like them, but they're a little too shiny for me. I don't like the feel of the pen on the paper as much as something more matte like this. And as you can see, no show through, no bleed, no feathering. It's great paper. So this is just a really great option to have on your desk if you want to jot down a note. Comes in various sizes, as I mentioned. And taken as a whole, this entire package, the Explorer Notebook, the Creative Block Tear-Off Pad, the uh, Observer Notebook as well, they're all great products. They're all reasonably priced. I'm pretty pleased with these. The only disappointment I have is the fact that you can't get standard A5 inserts and put them in the Explorer Notebook. I've got too much crap in this, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of this stuff out of here. Or distribute it more intelligently. But let me just show it in its normal configuration here. Oh, one thing I was doing as well. I had my Rotofaden to-do list and I was placing that in here. It's maybe slightly bigger than it should be, but it works okay. It doesn't stick out really that much at all. And so I would have the cotton sleeve or the cotton wallet, the one storyboard notebook, and then the Rotofaden to-do list in there. And taken all together, it's still nice and compact. And then with my Lamy, Safari with the 1.1 millimeter stub like that. I like it. I like it a lot. I wish the inserts were a standard size. We're just going to have to live without it. 895, what was it? 895? 850 for the inserts, the storyboard inserts. They come in ruled, blank, uh, and dotted. So I think they're available on Amazon as well. I'll put some links in the description to this video where you can get these products. So not as convenient as being able to put in any A5 uh, insert that you want, but still pretty easy to get. I think the paper quality is great. I think just the quality in general of all these products is great. And I'm quite pleased. Endless stationary products. The Observer Notebook. The Explorer Journal. The Open Pen Loop. The Cotton Wallet inside. And the Creative Block Tear-Off Pad. They're all great products. I've enjoyed using them quite thoroughly. I'm going to continue using the Explorer Journal for the foreseeable future. Um, I love my Taschenbegleiter. Where did I put it? It's over here. And I like the size. This is a standard A5 size, so that's nice. But I don't always need everything that I have in here. This is kind of my do-it-all notebook. I've got my sketch pad and a bunch of other stuff in here. Sometimes I want to travel a little bit more light. And this is where the Explorer Journal comes in. I may shove one more storyboard notebook in here, maybe one that is blank for sketching. Um, but other than that, I'm really happy with this configuration. I'm really happy with these products. And you should check them out. Look in the description box below. I will provide some links. But until next time, until we meet again, I've been your good friend Bradley. You've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. I'll see you later.